Star Mario Mix. It cropped up sometime between 06 and 07 on the GameCube. It was released under three separate names and presumably targeted for a Christmas release. Regardless of if you like it or not, we're gonna discuss some hidden layers to this game's soundtrack that mostly fly past first-time players. It all started in the late 90s, when Konami unveiled a new branch to the company called Bimani. At the time, Bimani specialized in producing a variety of rhythm games for Japan's arcades. Of course, they'd end up creating Dance Dance Revolution, and the rest is DDR history. If you can't already tell, the game was built on the same engine used to make the Mario Party games on the Nintendo GameCube. And I say built on pretty loosely because everything in the game is pretty much an asset from Mario Party. They even stole the freaking debug menu! I wonder if it was even made by the same people who made Mario Party. You can actually use a cheat to just not dance and the level will get completed anyways. You can play this game with me right now by just drawing some arrows on a piece of paper and pressing on them. So what makes this game a hidden gem? The answer? It's music. Waluigi finally serves a purpose besides being someone to hate. Now I want you to pay attention to the song of this level. It's called The Destruction Dance. And the origin of this song is actually really cool. A lot of tracks in this game pay reference to the games that some of the characters come from. Well, where the hell did Waluigi come from? The creators must have wondered this and found an answer just as good as ours. And that's Wrecking Crew! An original NES game that saw Foreman Spike as Mario's villain. This character does bear a strong resemblance to Waluigi. A level he appears in, Bonus Stage, was the remix of choice for what would become the Destruction Dance. The fact that they went this far to bring light to Waluigi's origin, turning this into this. It shows that whoever remixed this music did so with a purpose of understanding. There's still more to talk about here. I believe that this game was meant to be something more, but it was rushed with a particular deadline. There's a number of elements left over in the game's code that appear to have been the team still experimenting with design ideas. Try new things to maybe polish some aesthetics, but unfortunately they never came to be. Information regarding the development of this game is extremely scarce, probably because of Nintendo's contractual obligations. Therefore, details such as how much time did they have to make the game, Game and who are some of the vocalists and the tracks featured in the game cannot be casually answered. Now this game didn't completely sour Nintendo and Bamani's relationship. In fact, they did one more collaborative effort after this game's release. May of 2006, the arcades in Japan would receive a 14th installment of the popular DDR franchise, Poppin' Music. This title most notably featured a track called Mario BGM Medley, and a few other tracks between Bamani and Nintendo. This BGM track made it all the way to the 16th installment of the series, but it never made it to the final release. The last side of its existence was documented on an archive where one user experienced a premiere testing event at Round 1 Umeda in Osaka, Japan. By the time Poppin' Music 14 Fever got a home console release, some, if not all, of the tracks worked between Bamani and Nintendo were pulled from the playlist. Shortly after the home console release, Bonami released another DDR game on the Nintendo Wii. This time, there was no collaboration with Nintendo. Bamani cut creative ties with Nintendo and continued publishing some of their DDR games on Nintendo's platforms. Sadly, that is the bitter end to the collaborative partnership between Nintendo and Bamani, as this has been their associative status since. The roots of Bamani that passed through DDR Mario Mix could still be seen in later Bamani games on the Nintendo Wii. One lost Kojima, and the other lost a dancing star. This dancing star. Do not ignore the dancing star. Today, DDR Mario Mix is a relic of ambition and musical talent, and accountability for where it fell short may never be discussed. It's a one-of-a-kind creation that we'll probably never ever see again in the Mario universe. Tune in next time for DDR Mario Mix Out of Bounds Showcase. And with all this being said, stay safe and take it easy.